Hey everyone, I hope all of you are having a beautiful day. Um, I'm super excited about this uh, demonstration that I'm about to give you all. Um, it's actually based um, on a few verses from Isaiah chapter 1. Um, my little brother is here with me. He's going to be a part of the demonstration. And let me tell y'all what he did. Whoa, 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 I didn't know where you were Check this out, okay. out. Whoa, whoa, she didn't tell I me anything this. about this. She didn't tell me anything about this. I made this whole shirt. And look, look, got stains on it. Look at that. Little brothers. Mm. Or something else. But anyway, so why don't you go ahead and formally introduce yourself? Come around. Formally introduce myself, I don't Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever, you've never said your name. Yes, I have. I was in your uh, one video. No, but I said this is my little bro. So just say, hey, my name is. Okay, hey, my name is. That's what you told me to say, dude. My name is Chapel. First name. Last name below. Uh, my brother. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. No, wait. It's right there. It's right there. Um, okay. So first, I'm going to... No, you can go back. <laughs> okay. So first, I'm going to um, be reading you um, a few... Bible verses and kind of get the gist of what this demonstration is going to be all about. So, um, so from Isaiah chapter 1, um, verse 18 through 20, here's what it says. It says, Come, let us settle this, says the Lord. Though your sins are scarlet, they will be as white as snow. Though they are crimson red, they will be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Okay. And then um, in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 27 through 28, it says, Zion, Zion will be redeemed by justice. Those who repent by righteousness. At the same time, both rebels and sinners will be broken. Okay, so little brother, here. Oh, we're doing it over here? Yeah. Okay. okay, so as you see, like this shirt, it says humans on it, right? So this is for all of humanity, right? And as soon as we sin, we become a liar. Oh wait, I don't know if you can see that. We become a thief. We become a blasphemer. We become a liar. Oh gosh, this is terrible filming. Sorry guys. A liar. Um, a murderer. A gossiper. We become envious. And we're fornicators. And we're drunkards. And idolaters. And selfish. And we're we're basically all these things. Um, do that. And do that. Yeah, we're all these things as soon as we sin because it says right here that um, though they are crimson red, our sins are crimson red. And crimson is a red dye that is permanent. Like, it's, it's permanent once you get it on your clothing. That's what they used to use um, back in Isaiah's time. Like, um, and as soon as you put it on a piece of cloth, it's permanent there. And so with that, it's like our sins are like that. Our sins are crimson red. They are, they are permanently stuck to us. As soon as we do it, we do it one time and we're, we're, we're lie. Like, let's say we lie one time. We're a liar. If we commit adultery one time, we're an adulterer. Um, as humans, we've done all these things. And one question you may be asking is like, well, how, what, like this, how is this giving me hope? Well, guess what? I'm about to give you some really, really um, good news. And, but before I do that, I want to show you the illustration. So, okay. Dude, so what I want you to do, I want you to try to scrub, like try to rub this off. 
Okay, you see here, he's trying to rub off. Liar, murderer, adulterer, thief. He's trying to rub all these off. I can't. I can't. He's trying to rub them off. I can't do it. But he can't. I can't. I can't do it. He absolutely, he cannot. Look, he's, he can't do it at all. See, thank you. See, he can't, he can't do that at all. Like he, he's, he, he can't, he's trying to take off that sin. He's trying to wash it off, but it's not, it's, it's not coming off. And so with that, and let's take that back to like literal terms, we can't work our way to, to righteousness. We can't work our way to righteousness. We can't like scrub off our sin from, from our, from our soul, from, from us. But let me tell you who can. Jesus Christ. Let me make sure. Yeah. Jesus can. AKA living water. He is living water. He is the one who can ultimately wash away your sins. So let me go ahead and show you something. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I'm ready. You ready for it? Yeah. This is it. it may even. Uh, it doesn't feel good. Feel it. Feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel good whenever God is uh, uh, uh. refining you. It doesn't feel good sometimes. It may feel a little bit uncomfortable. It may feel a little bit uncomfortable. But you know what? He is ultimately washing all your sins away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at that. It is clearing off. <laughs> As you see now, it's clear. It's no longer there. All of his sins, all of his sins that were once there, are completely washed away. They're gone. They're completely gone. With that, it is only through the blood of Jesus Christ that we are able to be completely redeemed and forgiven for our sins. And and before, whenever we had all those sins stained on our shirt, whenever we would stand before God, that's all he would see. He would only see our wretchedness and our sin. But through Jesus Christ, through living water, we are able to now stand before God and He will only see Jesus' righteousness and no longer, and He will no longer see our wretchedness. I hope you are blessed by this message. I hope it was a good demonstration for you all. Um, and before we, uh, before I close out, I'm going to go ahead and pray for all of you. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for anyone who comes across this video. Um, I thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus, and for completely washing our sins away, Lord. Because before, before you, Lord Jesus, we, we would stand before God and we would be, be filthy and, and disgusting and, and we would ultimately be damned, Heavenly Father. But through your Son dying on the cross and defeating the grave, Lord, we are forgiven and we are set free and we are completely washed clean. I thank you for all that you've done and all that you will continue to do. In your mighty name I pray, amen. Amen. Alrighty, always remember, Christ has made you worthy and refined. Much love and God bless, bye.